Hey everyone, I'm David. It's very good to see you again. Sorry it's been so long since my last mailbag. Uh, this is the new office. I finally got it set up a little bit and uh, hung some stuff on the wall. The ocarinas aren't back there anymore, but I might put a couple hanging somewhere. Maybe over here. So yeah, lots of exciting stuff has been happening with the album and the tour, which I announced I'm going to be doing a small 2014 tour. And uh, I'm still looking for help in deciding some spots to do concerts and performances. So if you can go to wedemand.com slash David Eric Ramos, you guys can help me decide where uh, I'm going to be doing a few concerts for you. So do that. Besides that, there's some super exciting news. I just passed 100,000 subscribers on my main channel, DocJazz4, uh, and I just posted a video about it. So there'll be a link in the description or it will pop up right here and you can click that and check it out or you can just check it out after this mailbag video. Speaking of which, your mail has been piling up, so let's get into a few of your letters. This first letter is from Katie from Birch River, West Virginia. And she included a really cool picture drawing of Link. That's pretty awesome. He come and play like Link. I wonder if I can put this in the back real quick. Ta-da! Katie writes, hello David, my name is Katie, and I don't know if you'll read this, but I wanted to write to you anyway, also to enjoy this pick of Link. I'm 13 years old, and I love how you play the ocarina. I'm in band, and I play the flute. I have a pure passion for playing music. I got my first ocarina this year. It's a sweet potato. It's small and cheap, but I like to play it. Watching your videos and listening to you inspired me to get a better one. I'm getting the ocarina of time for Songbird Ocarina. I'm saving up my own money to get it, and I'm almost there. Anyway, I just wanted to say how I love your playing, and you sound beautiful, and I hope you never quit. Your Oc fan, Katie. Thank you, Katie. I uh, hope you got the ocarina, and if you did, you should totally uh, sneak that into band one day and just switch it out with the flute and see if anybody notices, because that would be pretty sweet. Thank you for your letter and the drawing. Really cool. This next letter is from Charles. Charles writes, Dear Doc Jess, for I love you and your ocarina vids. You are more awesome than Oot. Wow, that's quite the compliment. You may be interested in ocarinas. Also, you know any good ocarina guilds in Rochester, New York? Um, I don't, but if any of you are from Rochester, leave a comment below and, uh, or in the New York area. Maybe we could host a meetup there when I hopefully visit there later this year. That'd be pretty cool. I'm getting a 12-hole green plastic alto ocarina from Songbird. Can you please post tabs for the song, Sun Song? Uh, yes, I will try to, I think I know where some tabs for that song are, and I can post a link in the description. And he also included a drawing. I don't think that's me um, playing, and it says, Item Zelda theme plays. Da na na na, Doc Just for fell in the ocarina of time. He apologizes for being a horrible artist, but it's actually, it's not bad. I think you draw better than me. Thanks, Charles. This next letter has an interesting code on it or something. Zelda meets the Da Vinci Code. It's interesting. Dear Doc Jazz, my name on YouTube is T Pops, I think. I was wondering if you can answer a few of my questions. My first question is that I don't know if my golden pendant ocarina sounds right, and if it does, I'm never playing an ocarina again. It sounds terrible. <laughs> if it's a pen pendant ocarina, I would say that make sure that you're covering all the holes correctly and that no air is escaping. The other thing is you have to play with the airflow because it could just need more air and you just have to blow a little bit stronger. Um, and so uh, just experiment with it. Make sure no whole air is escaping. Make sure that no air is escaping from the sides either when you're blowing into the ocarina. That, that, that might make it sound terrible. I'm getting a tenor Zelda replica and I hope it sounds good. Can you see if you can put a fingering chart in the script description? Your fan, Tyler. My cat wants to be in the video. There, are you happy? So yes, I can put a fingering chart link in the description below and I'll also link to a video that I made for Songbird Ocarina showing you how to play the 12 hole uh, ocarina scale. And uh, I'm curious what this means. It's like pendant, I, sweet potato, triforce, I, Z. See if some one of you can decode it in the comments. It's interesting. Thank you, Tyler. And last but not least, I got a big package in the mail, which is probably the biggest box I've ever gotten from somebody. And it's from Starcat385 from Twin Falls, Idaho. 
It says, open me first. Where did Navi go? Scratch, scratch. Oof. Don't ever squish me in the flap again. That's my Navi voice. And it reads, hey David, my name is Stormcat385, and I think your videos are absolutely amazing. I hope you like your little trinket. Just make sure you don't turn evil or something. The day that your album came out, I immediately bought a song. They're so pretty. I have to say you did an amazing job. I have some random questions to ask. One, what Zelda game is your favorite? That is probably the first Zelda game I ever completed, which is a Link to Link's Awakening uh, for the Game Boy. And um, Ocarina, Majora's Mask would probably be after that one, and then Ocarina of Time. Two, what is your favorite type of Ocarina? I really like the single 12-hole Ocarina. Sombard Ocarina just came out with my own signature Ocarina, which is a 12-hole model as well, and that thing sounds amazing. I'm really excited uh, to play that for you guys, and it should be coming out later this year. Um, we're still just working out a couple things, so really excited about that. How many Ocarinas, broken or non-broken, do you have? That is a really good question. I said I was going to count them all when I moved into this uh, new house, but I did not have time to do that. I'm still saying I have probably a little over 100 because I've gotten rid of some in the past. And um, yeah, that's a good question. I should still try to count them. Thanks for reading and being awesome. You rock. Stormcat385. Michelle. Cool. All right, let's open the box. Oh my goodness. Wow. She sent me Majora's Mask. That's amazing. It's paper, but I don't own Majora's Mask, so that's, that's still pretty awesome. It's actually pretty intricate back here, too, how you put it together. It's really cool. <laughs> Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for your letters again. I'm always excited to open them up and see what you guys are sending and asking. If you'd like to send me a letter or a package or a mask from a another dimension, the address is in the description. <laughs> the address will be in the description below. Uh, please check out the We Demand page and the new video that I just posted for 100,000 subscribers. Thank you all very much for subscribing to this channel and to that channel and I hopefully will see you guys next week. Thanks so much.